Greetings, greetings. My name is Elena Ra. Welcome to today's podcast. Um, here we are. It's been a very interesting month already. Lots of transformation. So many of us have been struggling a little bit since the beginning of the year in terms of uh, um, having various things happen, health problems, particularly a lot of problems with the feet, so affecting mobility, essentially encouraging us to slow down. And in a way that has prepared us for this period now that we're in, a, t a period of deep reflection, a period of really harvesting all aspects of who we are, particularly looking at parts of the shadow, whereby, um, and the ego actually, whereby um, these parts come through our personality and can often cause heartache, grief, sorrow, pain, blame, anger, because of these human aspects of our personality that come up and uh, because they've been left unattended or we don't really um, want to accept them or look at them and believe they're part of us, they're allowed to run riot and create problems in our relationships and our experience of love in particular with people who are important to us. So now we're in a time where um, it's so important to surrender and to clock where the ego has been coming forward um, and taking over. So much, it's so important that we observe the various aspects of ourself, our ego, our mind. Uh, because of course, as pure consciousness, we are observing all those areas, even our so-called personality can be observed. Even how we're feeling emotionally, there's someone observing that. So, um, the more we become conscious of our behavior and our true human experience, the more we're really able to own these parts of ourselves and recognize that they exist and become more conscious when we're dealing with other sentient beings and, of course, our human family. Um, the more we can free ourselves from those areas of ourselves, the more we can then see someone, or, or, or should I say present yourself metaphorically as naked. So you're not hiding, you're just in a place of truth, whereby you offer your truth, you offer the truth of what has happened without condition. You bring it forward and you offer it for forgiveness. All of these things are here for giving. It's not just positive things we give. Forgiveness is actually um, even perhaps more important to give, to offer forgiveness. Otherwise, we slip into a place of forgetting and we no longer choose to look at these areas and they remain frozen and they remain scarred and we carry these parts of our history or, or of our story forward and these personality traits. So please take this time to honour yourself and to honour your loved ones and bring things to the table, create a spiritual table, lay your spiritual table between you and another person, but particularly for you, so you can really look at who you are objectively from, a, from the outside looking in, without attachment. So, um, well, also, as we move towards the end of this month, next month brings the sprouting and the germination of all these things, and we will see everything with fresh eyes. And we're going to be in such a magical place whereby things will feel renewed, they will see different because the person who's looking from behind these eyes would have evolved and transformed. So therefore the whole world will seem different. How we approach things, our values and what our future holds. 
So I leave that with you. Namaste. I see the God in you. I love you. Be well. Surrender. Rejoice. And be. Namaste.